audience what's up what's happening um just here another day on the west coast i'm pretty sure most of y'all been following that i've been i've been on the west coast in about a couple of months couple of weeks couple of days couple of hours and let's just get started i was supposed to start on uh youtube it just so happened that uh youtube wasn't working just when i was about to start so now we on facebook so everybody join in on the party and here we go audience has the bs the bad story i'm your host sylvie q earthquake a new day fresh blessing live living life carefree so it all began in November, I November started and I was like, you know what, let me just travel out west. Now it didn't go as easy as, all right, let me just pick up and just go out west, but that's how it happened. Obviously I drove through different states, so let's just say, all right, so New York is right here and I just traveled all the way down here to Arizona. And here's how it is. We got, I see that you, that everybody has not been keeping up with my podcast. It's not like an original uh, podcast of an hour or anything like that. It's more of uh, my storytelling. I just put it as podcast. It is, uh, right now it's on episode nine. Episode nine dropped, which is Social Red Berry. So that was uh, my last social gathering in college about... 18 so that's about four years ago we getting old people we got the first one which was circles and that was actually my first my last that was my last video before i left new york physically and that was my first um podcast and it just talked about we just say the circle of life so we're going to give a quick rundown real quick. Uh, witnessing seasons change in the era, hopefully not average Joe striving to be in reality, having characteristics to choose with some saying, I'm all on playing. If time is a statement, then life is current. Is the shield the truth or is the other form? Smoke gun side that mirrors picking between business and pleasure. Not a history teacher, and this is an election. In many cases, we randomly draw 86. So overlapping circles is there. We pick up following the hummingbird on the way home. Are we only numbers or is gold the same? Not here to persuade or make you believe because in life we pass on. Our purpose was in store at zero, finding what we living for. So that was episode one in case you guys missed that i had to rehash real quick and i mean straight memorization episode two was gallantly great real life so for example we have different personality traits bubbly personality traits we have a more blunt personality trait uh quiet personality trait and all that i compared it to fruits and vegetables and all that and then of course i had the famous one that said um if go with vip baseball choosing signal ticks in tennis there's a pace in hockey we cherry pick and zone in football track and field the trips and for players then it's life we playing so that basically dealt with uh relationships and um you gotta pick and choose your different relationships. I mean, it could be romantically or it could be, you know, business or personal, it depends on whatever floats your boat. Uh, but I went along those lines right there. So I compared it to sports, drinking ratings and all that, rated PG, rated G, rated uh, PG 21, and in my case, PG uh 13 no pg 13 and then pg 31 uh 21 i remixed that and then of course rated r and stuff and then podcast four was about 
Eleanor's Diary. So Eleanor's Diary was, you ever know how you sleep and then you wake, you're sleeping and then you're like, man, I don't know this other person. So in that dream, I had it multiple times. It was about um, a little kid that I was babysitting. And it was, it was kind of weird because I ain't never been to a daycare and she had green eyes. So obviously I don't have any green eyes. I have brown eyes, so I don't know who that was. So uh, I did another verse and I just talked about family life um, on my mom's side and my dad's side, just compared to like that. Uh, episode five was um, Candy, Candy Silver. So back in the days, I was the the candy boy, not the candy man, the candy boy. And I'll go to uh, my brother's high school games, and you know I'll yell out Snickers, Skittles. Um, Three Musketeers, Reese's, Starburst, all of that. So it was just a story about that. I was in middle school or something like that. And then we have episode seven, which was, no, episode six, which was about three weeks ago, talked about, um, we'll just say last year, I went to the Taj Lounge in the city and I hung out with my friend West, and we just chilled. I just recounted what went on. You know what I mean, we kept the PG uh, for all the audience who watched it. And then episode seven was what is legacy? So. You have two different types of legacies. You have obviously your birth name and all of that. So that's the legacy, the last name. Of course your first name, but your last name, you carry a legacy. Uh, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, uh, your great grandparents and all that. So that's one type of legacy. The other legacy is if you have a offspring, a child, a daughter or a son, and that's also another legacy. That's a physical legacy. And I just talked along those lines that yes, your offspring is your legacy, but at the end of the day, you're put on earth for a purpose, for a reason. And you're here to fulfill a certain purpose. Whatever that purpose is, you got to find that out in life. So that's why it's called life and that's why you're given life. Episode eight was find the missing piece. I remember talking about uh, basically driving a car. So you're driving a car, you got the front, front glass, which is a lot bigger um, picture. You can see out that than the, would you say the rear views. Uh, it's a lot smaller and of course you have the rear view back there. So instead of running back to the past or anything like that, uh, just look forward. Of course, you learn from the past, but you know, move forward. And um, while you drive, in that case, it was driving. So um, just keep on driving straight. Uh, that's my direction. I usually say, yeah, just drive straight. Um, so episode nine was it just dropped. Was my last social gathering, which I mentioned before uh, four years ago. And listen, I had to get me another pack of Uno, man. I mean, we don't know nothing about these plastic cards, man. I, it's unopened. It's unopened. And usually I get it started with the, the jam um, and then also playing cards. I mean, I had at that time, I'm giving you a little preview. At that time, I had the soda, soda, water, juice. Starburst, basically the candy, all right? Jolly Ranchers, all that, I invite all my friends over. In college, when I say friends, I meant girls, all right? Then we have teammates, which, my, which were my boys, all right? And then of course, I, I handed out different uh, type of cards. I actually had, uh, 
like the clear plastic cards, just like this, but it was a clear plastic card, and um, that's how you were invited to the party. Now, I mean, it was a good time, so I'm gonna let you guys watch it right now. It's on uh, YouTube right now. Uh, why? I'm gonna put this as episode 42. I know it's episode 9 I just dropped, episode 42, because in between uh, 41 to 41, 9, it's about, um, I don't know, I can't do my math, about 32 episodes, so 32 episodes, I already, re already did record it, I recorded it already, and now um, just waiting every week. Every week is gonna drop on Monday around nine o'clock Pacific time, twelve o'clock Eastern time. I be forgetting sometimes that I'm on the Pacific time, right? So then after a while, I'm like, okay, I gotta time it like this. If I wanted to call my people from the East Coast, what I'm gonna have to do is wait. A little bit while now I'm gonna say the afternoon so afternoon would say three o'clock uh, here uh, six o'clock uh, Eastern time before they fall asleep because usually when I fall asleep it's about one easily one so it'll be about four o'clock Eastern time but anyway I right, enough about my podcast we're gonna talk about real life which everybody been looking for uh, so, welcome in, welcome in, it's been a while, uh, and what had happened was, so after my trip to, we'll just say 32 hours from New York all the way to Phoenix, so I got to Phoenix, and I was looking for a job. I was looking for a job. Um, I resigned my old job. So I was like, all right, what can I do in Arizona that could fit the bill? So I'm out with uh, doing hospital interviews and also, um, different type of, you know, Nike and Under Armour and all those like athletic gears and um, I was like, man, I don't know what can I do to make this quick money. So then after a while, I was like, you know what, let me just go into the car business. So I'm kind of previewing if the... What is that? Episode 14. So this is nine. Episode five. Episode later. So five weeks in the future, I should say. Um, I work for a Scandinavian company. All right. In the car business. Right now, it's doing good. Right now, it's good. You know what I mean? We're getting new inventory and all that. I'm learning how to be a salesperson, negotiating prices and trades and all of that stuff. So, I mean, I'm slowly but surely getting in the mode of being a salesperson. Anyway, where I picked to live, I somewhere on P83, P83 uh, Peoria, and the best way I could explain it to y'all, if you guys are living in New York, is it's like I'm at Green Acres, so to speak. You got all the shopping. All the car businesses that you could think of, you got the shopping mall, and then you also have restaurants, commercialized restaurants. So I purposely picked this place and purposely picked this place. It is like this. Uh, uh, okay, all right, so it's, about northwest of Phoenix, 
So we we'll just say this is Phoenix all around here. That's Phoenix right there. We we'll just say it's a, a circle. So I'm right here. I'm the north northwestern part of we we'll call it the valley. And then a little bit down here is where the football field is. And then down 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 here is uh, where the downtown is. So I'm like right here, and then downtown is right here. And then you have Scott still right here. You got Tempe down here. You also got the airport down here. And you got Chandler down, lower down there. So it reminded me of New York City. I we have, of course, Manhattan is just like downtown Phoenix. By the way, Phoenix is the top five metropolitan. Uh, cities in the United States. I right? we also got the largest airport also next to Denver and Dallas, Vegas, and of course Los Angeles, Seattle, and uh, you got Chicago. So what had happened was you got you got Scottsdale, which is like your Long Island. You have Tempe, which Arizona State University is. So it's like, and you got the airport there. It's like Queens. Chandler is like Bronx. And then Glendale is like, it's like Brooklyn, right? We built, they building up real estate. You know what I mean? They building up real estate. So basically when I got here, I was just visiting all different types of states, suburbs, I should say. So I lived downtown when I first came here, um, say a couple of months ago. I lived downtown. That's where the Phoenix Suns and also the Diamondbacks play. I, I was living down there, and I was living in Tempe. Now I was living in Chandler and all those uh, places. So I decided, you know what, let me just go right next to Peoria and Glendale. And as of right now, I realize something. It's a couple things that I miss about New York, alright? First of all, I miss the food, alright? Ain't nothing down here called Jamaican food. It's called Jamaican food, but it's not the real Jamaican food, alright? I have to go all the way down. 40 minutes to Chandler for some good Jamaican food or Central Phoenix for some Jamaican food and even that would you say it's lower than uh, New York prices so I'm winning in that category gas is about five dollars I came here it was about 350 and uh, I'm not really sure exactly what contributed to that the airplane fare when I came down here it was two hundred dollars. Now it's about five something and change. So I gotta wait until the the prices go down a little bit. Then I'll just fly out. See, the good thing about this is they call it Sky Harbor. It just sounds like a mission. Like I'm doing solo missions usually. It just sounds like a mission. Yeah, I'm going to Sky Harbor. Um thing about Phoenix is it's a one-way trip to New York or wherever I want to go like all those other Midwest cities that you heard about I'm not gonna name them you gotta go to Denver or you gotta go to Dallas or you gotta go to Los Angeles just to go back home I mean a connecting flight I don't we don't do any of that we just go straight from your destinations all the way to where you need to go. But anyway, the nightlife here. I, I'm not really a night, nightlife person. However, I decided to go out when I decided to step foot down here. So we have, I mean, it, it, it's white, majority white. 
you do have your Mexican, Hispanics, um, and then they are they are blacks, um, and then you have other mixed races also. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been going to Scottsdale. So many of you guys heard of uh, Scottsdale. It's like the Southwest Miami. So, I so, I so Peoria is right here. Scottsdale is right here. So I had to travel all the way over here, about forty minutes or something like that. I'm not really complaining because in Phoenix we do not have a toll road, no toll roads at all. So that's a good thing. The bad thing is everything's about 40 minutes away. So it's, it takes a toll on the car because like I said, gas price is about five, five and change, all right? It's up there, it's up there in prices. I don't know in New York is what, four or three something. I wish it was that, but we right next to California, all right? I took a trip out to California about one time. I had to do that for my training for the Scandinavian company. It was all right. I visited Irvine, um, California. It's a lot of corporate bu buildings. And I passed by Palm Springs, Coachella. I actually, when I got back, from my business trip, Coachella the next day was starting up and I know some of y'all visited Coachella. When I'm passing by Coachella, all I see is just desert road, trees, really nothing going on. I don't know exactly where it is in, in Coachella. But anyway, so I'll go downtown um, to Old Sky, so they call it. It looks like a Midwestern town and then up the street you do have uh, we'll just call it like a Roosevelt because um, Scottsdale is like Long Island and um, down the street from there we'll just say it's like in a C, form C formation you got all the clubs eh, no no lounge so it's a club yeah clubs about five clubs Six, seven, oh, we'll just say seven clubs. We got the rodeo, blondie, maya, whiskey, uh, the riot, uh, and then also other ones that I can't really name because I just passed by it. I shot a couple of videos of those uh, places. You got all different type. You got techno. Remember Mission Techno? I went to Ohio and then I went to Dallas. But uh, anyway, Mission Techno. No, no. Um, they have techno music, EDM. They also have, you know, hip hop, and they also have different genres like that. And since it's right down the road from Arizona State University, you have college. You have college people there, right? So I'm not out here mixing with the with the wrong crowd. So if I wasn't going there, I go all the way down to Old Scottsdale at this uh, loyalty lounge. So it's more like an R&B, uh, hip hop type of lounge, real laid back vibe. Where I see all my peoples. So. I went there actually twice this week and also last week. I mean, it's cool, laid back vibe, not me. Uh, probably something that, I, that I've been missing since I came down here. Other than that, you know where I'm partying at. I'm partying right down the road, Glendale. All right, we're all, uh, we'll just say, the older generation. Um, the, the moms and the grandmoms where they teach me salsa lessons. Know what I mean? 
Now everybody know about the one two, the one two step, the one two step, the one two step. I mean, that's all you need, and they be like, yeah, he can dance. But now, nah, I mean, I'm actually learning some some new moves. So actually, when you see me, you put on the song. After when you put on the song, I'll be like, you know what? I think it's time. So yeah, man, I just been enjoying my time. Of course, we have the we have different mixed races and all that. Um, thing that I like about you know partying with, I mean the the older generations, they know. Uh, it sounds cliche. They like the older music, I should say. Alright? And I'm with that too. I'm kind of like an old soul and all that. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go over there. Now, matter of fact, after I get off this stream right now, I'm going to go down there and say what's up to them. You know what I mean? So these last two songs I actually did. Um, so copyright what these are my songs so this one I did about two weeks ago I did this this one and I did the other one also but other than that Phoenix been good um, I just wish a lot a lot of uh, downtown was a lot closer and now that the season is over for Phoenix, now I mean all my people is calling, yeah, Phoenix is the hot, Phoenix Suns is uh, the hot team and all that stuff. And we wait until the playoffs and they lose to a one-man team. Also in football, we had a great chance to go far however we lost. Don't worry about it. Next year, it's hosted right down the road about 15 minutes away from me. The Super Bowl, I don't know if I'm going to get in because I don't have uh, that VIP access. So, I'm going to have to wait. Then next year, it's going to be NCAA happening. So, I'm at least staying down here for at least a good two years. Well, after this year, we count. So like about three more years I'm gonna be staying down here. So I know you guys are gonna go and visit. Forget going to Vegas, cause Vegas is about four and a half. I mean, I could easily just drive to Vegas, but I rather hopefully y'all visit me in Phoenix. If you say, yo, I'm in the Valley, just say what part. If my schedule is free, I just drive down there. And I mean, we have a good time, I mean, it has all commercial food, it has your southwestern place, uh, your Mexican place. Uh, it does have a little bit of Caribbean food, if y'all were asking. That's commercial food. Uh, but they do have different parts of shopping and uh, restaurants. So you don't have to go downtown to have a good time. I mean, you have Glendale, you have Peoria, you have Scottsdale, Glen, I said Glendale, Tempe, Chandler, downtown, Mesa, uh, Gilbert, all those. So it's like, literally like a big circle of things to do of course i didn't mention we do have hiking when i came up here i did hiking i fell in love with hiking now before then i didn't like i was scared of heights okay like roller coasters but i think i conquered my fears so now I'm good with hiking. So I do it. Here's the four main things that we do now here. Go to sports events, go hiking, go shopping, go clubbing or lounging. That's the only four places that you could actually socialize with people, I should say. Because it seems 
right off the highway, most highways, there was a lot of homeless activities going on. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. So, other than that, I just just be chilling. I mean, going to work. After I go to work, chill out. Home cook some food real quick. I mean, go hang out with my grannies. I mean, my Latina grannies. I mean, they teach me the salsa. You know, actually, the one time. Nah, it was not the one time. It was the other time. This is what happened. So granny, I don't know, I was dancing with a random granny. So she actually pointed me out of the crowd. I was watching TV up above and it just so happened it was in her direction. And she goes and waves at me and she points at me. She, she goes like this, she points at me and then she points down at the dance floor. I was like, all right, fine. I thought Shivery is dead. But you know what? I'm gonna give you this one last dance. So then, ever since then, I mean, I guess her and uh, other friends were comments and saying that, oh, you're a little bit too stiff. You need to loosen up. I right, agree. Right, I'm gonna take that up into my next uh, session. And uh, don't be surprised what you see. So. Anyway, I don't want to keep you guys for too long. I know some of y'all, it's your bedtime, so I'm just going to be out. To all my family and friends, new subscribers, I know you out there. Walk easy.